okay so so the so this is our model now we shall be checking whether our model is suffering from heteroscedasticity or not and and the heteroscedasticity is not desirable okay now we have already plotted z pred and z receipt to check whether our model is suffering from heteroscedasticity or not okay so i go down to check the plotting that we have done last time yeah this is our plotting you can see from here right this is our plotting and here you can see i just make it uh, okay here is the plotting and here that is what that is y axis and uh, what is here regression standardized residual that is in the y axis and and this thing actually called z receipt that is z receipt meaning that and here in the x axis you can see from here here regression standardized predicted value and we call it z pred so this one z pred meaning that predicted value of the dependent variable so this side is the predicted value of the dependent variable meaning that y because our dependent variable is y right and what about this side this side actually the residual of our regression model so so and what about this one these are the residual in the circle right residual plotting so these are actually standard residual plotting right okay and you can see all the residuals are jointly they are going down gradually again they are coming up they are making going up gradually you can see they are going up meaning that they are going down 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 again going up up gradually and you can see there is a systematic pattern i call it systematic pattern of this plotting and when the when the residuals have systematic pattern then we can say that our model is suffering from heteroscedasticity and we need to remove the heteroscedasticity okay now i can explain about this thing again i can explain again about the whole thing so you just wait i can explain you better about it okay here you come back here okay suppose this side is the this side is the uh, standard residual that is z receipt and this side is the estimated dependent variable or the predicted dependent variable which is z pred and these are the plotting residual okay suppose if the plotting of the residual is like this right if it is like this meaning that there is a systematic pattern then we can say 
that that model is suffering from uh, suffering from heteroscedasticity. I'm saying again, just right here. So here is a systematic pattern, right? So here is a systematic pattern. Systematic pattern, right? Then we say that probably there is heteroscedasticity. Okay, suppose it becomes like this. It becomes like this. Suppose it comes here. The pattern is something like that. The distribution is something like that. So here is also a systematic pattern. It is going up and going down, meaning that uh, the model is suffering from heteroscedasticity. Or suppose the, the residuals are like this. They are suppose like this. Uh, they are like this. So here you can see there, I'm just make it try. They are becoming like this, suppose. That means they are making bigger gradually, you can see from here. You can see here, they are making bigger like this, right? Like this. So they are, they, they are size is getting bigger, you can see. Getting bigger, right? So it is going up it is going up this side right this side is getting bigger this side is getting bigger also we can suspect that this model is suffering from uh, heteroscedasticity right okay uh, then what else uh, then uh, okay so these are the symptoms these are the symptom behind heteroscedasticity and probably I can show you uh, some more uh, some more uh, symptom that can tell probably there is a heteroscedasticity okay other pattern could be something like this suppose all are increasing like this. Another pattern, right? So uh, it is another systematic pattern, right? They are increasing like this at a particular direction, right? So that one is a also symptom of heteroscedasticity, right? So, so okay, I can show you one more symptom. Maybe the residual is increasing like this. Uh, they have a particular pattern, right? All the residual. Okay, like this. So, like this way they are increasing right like this way they are increasing so that is also another pattern of the heteroscedasticity so we call it systematic pattern so when this thing happen we cannot accept the model because the model is suffering from heteroscedasticity. 
okay but the thing is that when there is no heteroscedasticity what are the same term right the, the, the thing is that the question is when when there is no heteros kedasticity kedasticity kedas kedasticity when when the residuals when the residuals will be scatteredly scatteredly plotted meaning that random meaning that there is no systematic pattern right meaning that there is no heteroscedasticity so meaning that there is no systematic pattern there is no systematic pattern or random okay example from here when the residuals are like this after plotting when they will be like this you can see from here can say here is no systematic pattern no uh, systematic pattern of the residual meaning that it is random it is random so in this case we can say that this model is free from heteroscedasticity and and when the model is free from heteroscedasticity we call this thing as a homoscedas homoscedasticity and this homoscedasticity is desirable so here so uh, this pattern or this plotting is called homoscedasticity and that is desirable okay and our model is suffering from heteroscedasticity because because our model that is like this the the residual have a systematic pattern so meaning that our model is suffering from uh, heteroscedasticity so uh, our task our job is to remove it and make it homoscedasticity okay that we shall be doing now